Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bullet journal video, kind of like walk through my bullet journal with me, kind of my starting bullet journal and also what I use for my bullet journal. By no means am I a pro, I've literally not spent very much time because I don't have very much time to do this so it's more of a mi minimalist bullet journal type thing. and. I didn't really pick a theme for April, so yeah. So let's just get right on into the video. So first and the most obvious is you need a journal. I actually don't use the dotted journals like most people do, the classic bullet journals, but I just have this one from Target that I actually got in my back to school haul if you saw that video and I ended up not having to use it for school. And I just been laying around and I was like, it's cute, why don't I use it? And I love the print of it and everything. So I am just used this and since I'm just starting and I don't really know if I like it, I figured if I use this and I end up liking bullet journaling, then maybe I can invest in the more expensive ones because they are like 20 to 30 bucks, which is kind of a lot for a journal when this was like four bucks. So. Now I'm gonna show you the rest of the things that I use and I would suggest and then I'll show you what this looks like. The first thing that I use is the Tombow brush pins. I have this whole little case. I have a lot of colors. I have the pastel set and the primary color set and then and I've got the bull sets off of Amazon and then this cute little marble case is also from Amazon. I really like the pins and I can put my calligraphy to use now in my bullet journal. So that's really nice. So now to the second thing that I suggest. So I love stickers. And so I use this little case. It's actually a makeup bag by Benefit that we got for free the last time we went, which was really cool. And it's really cool with this like, I don't know if you can see, it's like confetti i guess where it's not on this side it's like clear on the side but yeah it's really cute bag they're the daily bloom planner stickers which is actually by the same brand of my planner that i use for school so i thought that was really cool and they i have i got three packs i got the holiday pack the classic pack and the productivity pack and i'll be leaving everything down below i have the holiday pack which just consists of like every month of the year and like special little stickers for like each month. Productivity, which kind of has like a whole bunch of stickers like gym and like these ones with a whole bunch of like nail appointment, doctor, stuff like that. Food and just like cute little things with quotes and planners and like stuff like that. And then the productivity one has like more, or no, this is a classic one. Has just a bunch of like everything i guess you could say like some starbucks and like this one's more like school and stuff like to do kind of like and like those so those are the sticker or these are some of the stickers that i use the next little like categorized sticker things i use are these page flags and this is what they look like i actually got these from target in the dollar bin and they're just little page flags, so like, they say like, now, later, keep it simple. And I also use these to mark pages that I, like, what I want to do for like, planning my bullet journal. And so yeah, I really like those. I have basketball stickers. Um, I just have basketballs, which I use to say like, when I have basketball tournaments and stuff in my planner, as you'll see in a little bit. And I just have these basketball stickers that I got. And yeah. So I just use those because I do play basketball, so like I will be putting basketball on my thing because basketball season, I actually have my first tournament this weekend. So the next thing that I use in my bullet journal is this washi tape. I actually got this a while ago, so and like I knew you used it in bullet journals, so I use it to like border pages and make it more interesting or when I'm lazy or make it more interesting and I just got this cute collection with like flamingos pineapples cute like flower print stripes and like cacti so yeah this is really cute and this is from Michaels if you're wondering 
Next thing that I have is a ruler. This one is like a trapezoid type ruler. I don't really know. I've just had this ruler forever. I just have a ruler because you, want, if you are a perfectionist or not even a perfectionist and just want straight lines, you can use a ruler, which is important for your bullet journal. And then next are the Stabilo Boss Highlighters. And I just got the classic pastel pack. And I'm going for more of a, of a pastel colors in my bullet journal because that's what my calligraphy pins are. And I really like the colors. And since April is like with Easter, it kind of goes for at least this month. So I got these pastel highlighters. Two kind of random but important things for your bullet journal that you should have is a pencil. So I just have this pencil. It's just like a mechanical mint big mechanical pencil and then I have a papermate pen to do like my finer lines or my smaller doodles and then last for the items to have these are actually I've had these since I was little um they are Crayola super tips and I just have them in this little thing and I actually haven't used these in my bullet journal but I've seen so many people who have so I thought I'd include them and yeah so I'm excited to be able to use these in my bullet journal. Okay, so now it is time to show you my beautiful bullet journal. So on the first page, I just have a little thing that says bullet journal. And then this says, a goal without a plan is just a wish. And like since this is, I'm using this to like plan out my life, I guess, or semi keep track of my life. I don't know. thought that was a cool quote got this inspo off of Pinterest and a lot of things as I said earlier are off Pinterest like are based off Pinterest or Pinterest anything basically I get all my inspo off Pinterest I'm not very creative so next we just have the index and I just have my um, calendar area here and then I have my collections area here and then next I have my 2018 yearly like layout thing and it just looks like that I'm pretty proud of that next page is my bucket list and I just put a few stickers here as you can see and then I have this little follow your dreams arrow that kind of got a little messed up but you know it wouldn't be a bullet journal without mistakes and then the next page is my favorite quote and I just kind of drew it out and in different colors and fonts. And it just says, the ocean is everything I want to be, beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free. And that's my favorite quote ever. And then next we have my wish list page. I haven't really put that much on here. Like a lot of this stuff is incomplete. Like I probably could add more. But so far, this is just what it looks like. And I have little stars and then the moon on this and then a little shopping bag sticker we have places oh, places i've been i think this is one of my most like favorite pages i've done so far and because i really liked how it turned out i guess you could say but i just had the year year and then where i've been so in 2004 which is when i was born i was in texas because that's where i was born and then 2008 i was in south dakota 2010 I went to Mexico, 2012 I went to Colorado, 2013 I went to California, 2016 I went to Oahu, Hawaii, and Arkansas, 2017 I went to Florida, and 2018 I went to the Bahamas. Next we have the places I want to go with a little arrow, and then down here I have a little cute little car, which I'm actually pretty proud of this because I suck at drawing. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to read a few of the places, but I have a lot of places like Bora Bora is definitely on the top. And next, I actually haven't filled anything out here because I haven't really came across anything. But I just it just says things to do, a little bike, and then this says the weekend because that's usually when I have time to do things. So so if I come across like cute little things, like I want to go like downtown and take pictures at the, all the murals, like that's probably something I could write here. Next, this is um, my collection of food to try with a little grocery bag. And... This page is just like food I want to try or places I want to try and go to to try out their food. We have birthdays. 
which I'm pretty proud of this. Um, so it just says birthdays in this cute little banner up here, and then all the months, and then people's birthdays in them. So this is my What Makes Me Happy page, and I took so long on this, and I'm really proud of it. And so up here just says What Makes Me Happy with little hearts. And then I just have everything that makes me happy. Sunshine, YouTube, music, Adidas, um, ice cream, basketball, Snapchat, cactus. So next, we go into April. And I just did a little simple um, thing that says April with this little cute little circle with little thingies on it. I don't really know. So first, in the April collection, we have my water log. And I did mess up, so that's why there's this like page there, but don't mind that. Up here, we just have a cute little water bottle. This cute little thing that says hydrate. And the water falls down into the cup. I'll draw water droplets for like how many certain amount of things. I think like how many things my Yeti I drink, which is like 20 ounces. So, yeah. So next, this thing literally took me forever. That's okay though. I have my sleep tracker. So I just have all the dates again on the side here. And then 1 to 12 and then the plus and then I'll just highlight all the hours that I slept every night and just have a little Z's and then sleep tracker and then down here we have some cacti tape and then my next page is my April workout tracker I just have some cute little stickers of like shoes, sports bra, rise and grind and then I have some basketball stickers over here because basketball is working out and then I have all the days again on the side and then I have a little key, so if I ever put like an orange box next to it, that means basketball. If I put blue, that means I ran. If I do purple, that means I did my ab workout. And if I put yellow, that means I did other, and I'll probably specify what that is I do. And then next, we have my YouTube tracker. So it just says YouTube, and then you go, girl, because getting on that game, man. Um, but yeah, so... Again, it has all the days on the side, and then it says views, watch hours, and then my subscribers. And next is actually my YouTube video planning for April page. So first we have my bullet journal video, which is what I'm filming right now, and then a special Easter video, but I didn't really write exactly what it is going to be because I want it to be a semi-surprise. We got show YouTube planning with this cute little sticker, kind of looks like work we have my april week one um this is my first ever weekly spread i just decided to keep it simple um but it just says april week one in the corner i have thursday friday saturday sunday because april does start on a sunday and so i didn't want sunday to be left off because that is april fool's day and easter so i had to include them so i just decided i'd do a short week spread and just do four days so I just started with Thursday, which is actually today, and I had a history quiz today. I played Capture the Flag in Athletics today, and, and or I just put this little sticker that says Hell Weekend because we actually have tomorrow off, which is Friday, for Good Friday. So I put that, and then I put a little candle sticker because, and then I put relaxed and watch YouTube because that's basically all I've done today. Then I have Friday, which I kind of wrote my plans for tomorrow, as I said. So I film and edit video, and then I have a nail appointment at 9.30 with Savannah. So really excited for that, because my nails are bad, girl. Um, so then I have this little sticker. Um, I'm going to a gym tomorrow to practice with some people on my basketball team. So that would be fun. And then on Saturday, I just put this little basketball like sticker and just said first basketball tourney. And then on the next page and the last page, so far my bullet journal, uh, I have the week one of April. And I have my happies and my crappies. So as you can see on the weekly spread, on the top of next to thing, I have a color. Well, those colors I actually end up using to write my hobbies and crappies in. So for today, I wrote my hobbies in blue and then my crappies in blue because that was today's color. That's how the bullet journal is going so far. And yeah. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please do a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, or at the end of this video. And if you want to see any more bullet journal videos, let me know. Comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!